Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial. It's been a while since from my previous tutorial. I think about 10 days already. I haven't uploaded a single one of my tutorial. So today I'm going to decide to make another tutorial and give you another quick concept to create another brick wall design. Okay, so as you can see on my screen here, I got some photo reference before we jumping into our project. We will create this kind of composite brick wall and we will create a multiple for curtain panel pattern but to create that in order to model it from start to finish. Okay, so before I get things started, I would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about it with make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications so you won't miss my future tutorial okay so it's pretty much for introduction let's jump into our project together here we are in Revis architecture template so what i'm going to do in order to make our composer brick wall or brick wall design first thing i'm going to our file over there as a way then i'm going to new go to our family to get our curtain panel pattern best but first thing i'm going to change from english e to english because in my country we are using for metric where is it for the metric curtain panel pattern best here over here or you can using for generic model curtain best also also can so i'm going to open it once I done that, Revit will be transformed to another page. And first thing I'm going to adjustment my family first. I will make it for 400 by 200 for two brick wall. Sorry, this one will be 200. Here's apply, as you can see here. Then secondly, I'm going to apply our point over there to create a simple one brick wall here. Just go to our point, then just place on the center here one and two hit escape a couple of time then go to our rectangle tool just draw from the first point until the point here hit escape a couple of time then select our rectangle there then go to create form so the form then here i'm going to, to just leave it be like this for 100 for thickness then i'm going to set a work plan set for horizontal point point from here and here it has get a couple of time later on you will know the reason why we create that then i'm going to select here one and hold control key for multiple selection then i will adjustment our offset point here as you can see here i'm going to offset it for 100 millimeter it's apply then turn around to right view and we for move for shortcut key then move from here until here hit escape a couple of time then again I'm going to select this point over there then start from front view copy to another one just move it about 100 millimeter hit escape a couple of time once i done that i'm going to adjustment our point there first thing i'm going to make it for 150 for offset and of course for offset point over there i can assign for a parameter as, as well but I will just leave it be like this thing we just manually create our brick wall then I'm going to turn around select this guy over there I think okay just leave it be like this so I'm going to our spline through point start from the first point second point and third point like this sorry again first second and third hit escape a couple of time then the next thing is I'm going to select our rectangle start from here until here hit escape select here then create form solid form and of course this time we need to adjustment it I will make it for 50 millimeter hit escape a couple of time then as you can see here we got a uh, two different brick wall there but what we are missing now is we haven't applied for our material yet so I'm going to apply for brick wall material tap key for like our surface then go to our material over there just like here and of course i will apply for material parameter also it's the association family okay so now file is not responding we will take a while okay so here i'm going to create a new one new material right click on our closer rename it just rename it to bricks design like it's a simple name like this then go to our appearance library 
then I will just apply for orange color just go to our wall here then I scroll it down here finding for orange I think I will be using for let me see orange reds here plus then hit apply then hit ok ok correct then apply here of course we need to apply for a material parameter here again then apply for material parameter create a new one just make it for m for shortcut name it's okay hit escape then select another brick wall here apply for parameter as well just make it for m the same material hit escape a couple of time okay now it's time to create another brick wall on top there as you can see here we got our shape here coming like this is, is there some kind of curve so i'm going to our set which point we need to set we need to set a first point second point a third point uh the answer is we set for the middle point here then i'm going to using for rectangle just simply start like this okay hit a sketch turn to right side because we need to double check our line okay as you can see here so we need to move this guy up in in order to make it because we don't want to overlap point okay let me see first okay then i think we just make it for 50 okay correctly hit us get then i'm going to apply for parameter as well di for shortcut key in order to make our parameter we need to provide a dimension first select here one assign for parameter property then just make it for height or thickness okay just a little bit like this then i will change for scale to one by five because our letter is too big like here again then select remember you need to select your line also create form solid form as you can see here now we got already then i'm going to tap key in order to select all again then apply for material parameter as well same as before okay hit us get a couple of time uh perhaps is correctly let's turn on for realistic okay as you can see here but actually it should be orange but now become a red orange already just leave it be like this because i know you guys how to apply for the correct material just go to our file over there we need to get another family we're using for curtain banana pattern best as so it's open up or you can double click there <coughs> all right we open wrong already let's close all of them first go to our file again new family english family template in list then curtain banana pattern best where is it it's open up okay so when i open that i need to adjustment here so select our panel here then i will adjustment for horizontal 200 and vertical is 200 as well it's apply okay then go to our 3d it's a previous file load into project we just load into our family file it's okay then see um for shortcut key or uh, hit us get a couple of time first because i need to change our pattern here so like here change our rectangle pattern to one slash two step break wall okay now we got our six point of adaptive then see them again for shortcut key Press for the first point here hit us get a couple of time as you can see here it's perfectly just change it to realistic okay nice then load into our project just load into our project one hit okay okay we almost finished our project so what i'm going to do next after we read our reveal architecture template go to our massing and size then in plus mass mass one for them then just create a simply rectangle sorry it's a line just make it like this a straight line then i think i just make it for 3.2 meter because i don't want to make it too big hit a sketch go to my 3d here okay select our line over there 
create form solid form then select here again on top here adjustment it just make it for four meter okay select the whole panel there we need to divide our surface device surface and change our pattern to 1.2 step and of course we need to adjustment our u grill and v grill as well in order to finish our model change it to 200 by 200 same as our previous one hit apply then i'm going to change it to our family file come on okay change it to graphic display option of course i will open for show ambient shadow also but in the case we couldn't load that because we are still over matching mode so i'm going to hit finish okay change it to graphic display option show ambient shadow show ambient shadow apply i think i need to change our background also gradient um, change it to realistic apply then it's okay as you can see here it's quite realistic and here you just defeat it by model in plus follow from my previous tutorial and of course if you want to avoid those hollow here you can using on our concept summa interface you just model the brick wall in concept summa interface then you can load into your project with architecture template or with structure in order to make it but actually in some up for this kind of brick is for design only i think is apply for revit architecture template for make that because for revit structure is another different story we model only structure and revit mep is another one okay i think it's pretty much for this tutorial as you can see here it's quite nice and quite realistic for our brick wall here and of course can brew your can improve your design for this kind of brick wall if you want to apply it in interior design or interior design okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial i think it take about 10 minutes already thank you guys for joining me from start to finish if you are interested and like this tutorial make sure thumbs up and share it to your friend and if you are first time here don't forget to hit subscribe to motivate me to bring another professional content about revit and sorry about that because recently i haven't uploaded quite often because i got a lot of project on hand and hand need to need to complete on time but i still cut up time to make a tutorial for you guys thank you guys for watching again i see you for another tutorial in revit and have a nice day thank you